Hello there guys, I'm back, Coaster Chow here, Dogs to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Well, today, we're going to be looking at Croc Drop at Chessington World of Adventures Resort and the opening date. Of course, I said I'd be back with a second video on Chessington and Croc Drop's announcement date. I hope you haven't moved from your sofa, you know, you got your popcorn, you got your Diet Coke, you're staying in lockdown, you're staying in your homes, comfy, safe from COVID, sticking to the rules. And I uh, hope you haven't moved since the last video. But um, yeah, we're going to be going all over that. Again, like the Black Mirror Labyrinth video today. All over the history of the ride and everything that's going on. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Check the description for the Theme Parks UK article. Again, massive shout out to them. And also, guys, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord links, and the Google Forms link where you can submit your video ideas and content suggestions. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the announcement date for Croc Drop at Chessington World of Adventures. Very wild theme park. Very wild. So the official date that Croc Drop will be unleashed to the kingdom of Chessington is the 12th of April. Earlier than Black Mirror Labyrinth, which is interesting. Uh, so the new 25 metre tall drop tower, same height as Magma at Poulton's Park, uh, will open on the 12th of April, subject to government guidelines. So, of course, that is not official yet. It all depends uh, on the, um, obviously, the, the COVID regulations and the lockdown ending and stuff like that. So, based on Sobek, an Egyptian god, the ancient Egyptian crocodile god, riders will free fall into the 12 meter high jaws of the crocodile. It's manufactured by SBF Visa, the same manufacturer of Magma, and it can accommodate 16 people at a time, same as Magma. Uh, so Tim Harrison Jones, Div Divisional Director at Chessington, said, We are thrilled to announce our new ride, Croc Drop. It's going to be a great addition to our theme park, which, along with our zoo and resort hotels, are temporarily closed, of course, for now. Uh, the one of a kind drop tower has, has been over two years in the making and is on nearing final construction in our land forbidden kingdom just the sight of it let alone the thrilling ride itself it guests jaws will drop so the tagline is brave the drop release the curse so here is the story those brave enough will plunge 25 meters into the giant jaws of a crocodile sobek the ancient egyptian crocodile god and protector of the nile who has been possessed by evil spirits transforming him into a cruel deity with the once fertile Nile laying stagnant, riders must take part in a ceremony to banish the evil spirits from Sobek, plunging in the crocodile's soul and freeing the waters back into the Nile. Ritual? Ceremony? Hashtag Wickerman. <laughs> Those between 1.2 metres and 1.3 metres tall must be accompanied by an adult over the age of 16. Very important to note that. While those of a minimum height of 1.3 metres can drop alone. Hashtag 13. So, um, yeah, very, very good. Obviously, we spoke many a times in different videos about the logo, the name, the design of it, the announcement of Ramesses Revenge closing. We spoke all about that. And, of course, it, like I said, it is replacing Ramesses Revenge. And that is a legendary ride for Jessington World of Adventures. Now, Ramesses Revenge is a Huss top spin that operated... Uh, until the 3rd of November 2019. It first opened way back in June 1995, and of course it uh, closed on the 3rd of November 2019. It is one of the most successful and nationally recognised rides in the UK, or open in the UK. The expensive marketing campaign gaining the ride the title as one of the most revolutionary frat rides of its time. And of course, the ride is responsible for the most attended years in Chessington's history with over 2.2 million reportedly visiting back in 1995. So it's got a rich history and it's going to now be replaced with a, a more suitable ride for Chessington's target market. And I think that overall, we are looking at a staple attraction for the park. And in my personal opinion, I feel like Crop Drop is going to absolutely knock our socks off. We're going to be free down the River Nile and we're going to drop into the jaws of the Sobek on Croc Drop. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is looking at Croc Drop at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. And this is definitely going to be a wonderful attraction. We spoke all about the history, Ramesses Revenge, 1995 to 2019, legendary flat ride. If, you, if you've been an enthusiast or you've been to Chessington lots of times, but you not, might not be an enthusiast, you'll know the history of Ramesses Revenge. I might not have been to Chessington yet. 
But I know all about the history of that ride. I know about that ride. I'm like one of those people that never got a chance to experience it, but I still worship that ride. I worship the ground it sat on. And that's one of those rides for me. And it's, it's so sad that it went. But you know what? Enthusiast looked at it and thought, you know what? Something better is going to come along right for that target market at Chessington. I wish Ramesses Revenge could go to a different Merlin part. Like uh, maybe as a replacement Ripsaw system for Alton Towers and bring Ripsaw back into that site. Or uh, go to Thorpe Park and operate in the Lost City or something on the Bountzilla site and things like that. But you know what? We move on. Um, I can't remember actually where it's gone. I think there was rumours it was going to travel with Wind High Park Winter Wonderland in 2019, and it didn't happen. Then I heard rumours of it coming in the 2021, but of course that got cancelled because of the dreaded C word, COVID. Um, but I think that, you know, it would be nice to see a top spin still in the UK, still in the Merlin chain especially, uh, if Ramesses Revenge is still... Um, if they could repair it and keep maintaining it in the factory at Huss Wright, it would be nice to see it back up and running and, you know, rideable. So, uh, but moving on with Croc Drop, it was right, it was the right time to remove Ramesses Revenge. It was the, it was the proper target market to go for now. And, you know, I, and there was people saying, oh, is it a Zamperla model? Is it an SPF Visa? It is, as said on the article, an SPF Visa model. And you know what? I said this for a couple of years. Not sometimes not on the channel. Sometimes with 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 theme park mates. I said that a magma type drop ride would be absolutely wonderful for Chessington. You've got the family drop towers with the treetop bouncers. Now you've got a more thrilling drop tower with croc drop. So maybe old towers could look into that. Maybe no. Maybe no. Um, but I think Croc Drop is going to be a wonderful uh, ride for the park. I think the theming of it, like I spoke in that Black Mirror Labyrinth video earlier, the theming on this ride is just, just breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. The design of it, the overall atmosphere embracing us inside of it. And, you know, the whole storyline is amazing. Obviously, it's got Wicker Man vibes with the ceremony and 13 with the don't drop alone. Uh, don't go alone. Hashtag Dark Forest. But, um, you know, overall, I, I couldn't be happy with that. If there's any time to go to Chessington for your first ever visit, it would probably be this year. I don't think I'm going to be down there this year, but I promise you, hopefully, in the next few years, I will be down at Chessington World Adventures for my first ever visit. Because... The last couple, of, the last sort of few times over the last few years where I was down in London for Thorpe Park or, um, you know, staying in Windsor over a couple of days and things like that, you know, I never got the chance to experience Chessington. So I experienced Thorpe, drove past Legoland, so it would be nice to do Chessington at some point. It would be nice at some point in the next few years, you know, COVID out the way, you know, the world back to some kind of normality. And it would be nice to do like uh, what I like to call a trilogy London trip. Chessington, Thorpe Park, Legoland. Three parks, one city. It'd be amazing. Uh, but thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news and update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Coot, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a crock-tastic day. Snap.